your Chris 6 weather forecast. Yeah, we had a gorgeous day. Uh, what a difference a uh, day makes when you go from high clouds to no clouds. As you can see here on our sky cam along SPID looking west, gorgeous sunset, uh, beautiful weather, and an almanac that uh, featured temperatures like this today. It was a chilly start, exactly normal at 48. We ended up at 75 lovely degrees. And uh, the record on this day, 27 and 90. So big spread there and nowhere near that for us. Uh, downtown Corpus Christi looking over the Harbor Bridge. A little bit of a traffic coming into town there. That's always nice to see. 61 degrees, fair skies and an east-southeast wind at 9 miles an hour. There's a frontal system nearby and that'll be pushing on through with cooler air overnight. 61 right now in Corpus Christi, 63 in Beeville. There's really not much to the front. It was uh, up to the north. It's now pushed just offshore into the Gulf with cooler air filtering in behind this. All of this rotating around uh, this which was a winter storm across the uh, Missouri River Valley now. It's rain on one side into the Ohio Valley, but on the back side of this through Missouri, down around Jefferson City, seeing very heavy rain right now in Joplin, too, all the way back into Nebraska and western Kansas. So this is a big system that's not moving very quickly, and it's going to dominate our weather in terms of uh, very dry conditions uh, with cold nights and uh, cool but sunny days all the way through uh, this upcoming weekend. All right, here's the future tracker on clouds. There isn't going to be any rain, hardly going to be any clouds during the day tomorrow. <clears throat> Pick up a few high clouds tomorrow afternoon. And then on Friday, again, a few high clouds skirt the area, but sunshine dominates in a big way across the region. So there is the upper level low. You can see the dry air we talked about yesterday taking over the moist air in blue here and shoving it off to the north and east on into the southeastern U.S. High pressure is uh, protecting us from moisture coming from the Pacific. I really don't want it to protect us, though, because we could really use some rain. We're about four inches below normal for the year. But high pressure is going to do just that and we're going to end 2023 on the dry side, but it will start to rain and I think we'll end up above normal uh, for January of 2024 uh, right off the bat. But as you can see here, high pressure dominates as that slow uh, moving low uh, is slow to move out here on Saturday and into Sunday. The high still dominating us. And then the storm system out to the west, it really kind of breaks up. And so I'm not looking at any meaningful rain now until at least uh, Wednesday, Thursday of next week. This is the polar vortex in purple up here, and there are signs that some of this is going to break off within the next two weeks and head south, producing some cold temperatures in our region. As far as the rainfall, really don't see anything significant. It's trying to show something for next Tuesday, but I really don't see much happening there. Do see light winds in the area here overnight out of the north through 7 in the morning, and during the day tomorrow, very light winds means gorgeous weather that continues into Friday. Dog walking, as long as you're bundled up a little bit, low 50s, in a light wind at five miles an hour with clear skies. It'll be a pleasure. Cold tonight in our inland and northern counties, upper 30s to 43 here and low 50s on the coast. And the highs tomorrow reach 65, so down 10 degrees from today. Going to be a little bit on the cool side, but we will have that good old South Texas sun with 60s everywhere in the area. And after the 65 tomorrow, 39 and 63 Friday, 36 and 69. Still fantastic here on Saturday and into Sunday. It gets windy Sunday night, and we open up the new year with a dry cold front here on a Sunday night and into Monday with uh, the weather not so nice here by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week.